What's up y'all, this is Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to the Epi Banger video. And today guys and girls, we're actually doing some surf fishing. Uh, today's video, you guys are gonna see me catching some whiting, some pompano with my father-in-law. I've actually been doing a ton of beach fishing this season because it's something I really, really enjoy with fishing. It's, it kind of takes me back. I grew up fishing with my dad a lot on the beaches, fishing for whiting and a lot of those different species you find in the surf. So I grew up doing that and going to the beach with my family all the time. And we almost always were fishing in the surf because it was a lot of fun. I'm editing the video right now, so I'm throwing in an intro and an outro, but I wanted to give you guys just an idea of what to expect with the channel coming soon. Um, so I kind of took a break from YouTube. I kind of just lost, how do I say it? Lost interest in making YouTube videos, but recently, Something changed, I don't know what it is. I actually have a ton of content on the way now. So we've got this video, the surf fishing video, and I'm working on a video that I actually went down to Lakeland, Florida and fished Tenorock Park with the Feel Free Kayak Crew. So you guys should be seeing that video within the next week or two weeks. And I've also got a new camera that's really exciting. I've been posting about it on my other socials. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it's the.hunterfisher or Facebook or TikTok or all the other options. But I got a new 360 degree camera. So the surf vision videos are actually gonna be super high quality. I've got some microphone stuff coming in to make sure the microphone is good because I noticed with this video, there's a lot of wind noise. So as you guys watch and keep that in mind, there's a lot of wind noise. So do turn down your uh, volume a little bit because it's going to be a little strong. And I will say you're probably going to be seeing a lot more videos like this coming along soon because I honestly really enjoy surf fishing and it's kind of what I'm planning to do until at least May. <laughs> I'm planning on every weekend going over to St. George Island. I'm actually maybe going to fish a Pompano tournament, I think, uh, in April. I'm going to see how it goes. I have really good luck with Pompano. I manage to catch a Pompano now every time I go out. So, but this is actually in February. So I caught a Pompano in February. I've caught a Pompano now in March. I went out yesterday and me and father-in-law actually caught a couple more Pompano, not big size, but we're catching Pompano. That's all that matters. I love pom catching Pompano because they're super hard fighters. And I love catching whiting because they taste pretty good. So I actually cooked the whiting that you'll see in this video in like a taco type of situation, but really, that's what you guys are watching is a bunch of pompano, a bunch of whiting, but the surf fishing videos are going to improve. So just keep that in mind throughout the video. This is just GoPro chest, the experience. And yeah, so, but besides that guys, I'll let you get to the video. All it is is just taking one off and putting a new one on. It's super easy to switch out. In case I need to grab another four. Oh, oh, that's a bite. That's a bite. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whiting! You want to keep any today? That's completely up you. Oh! I think, do you want to, maybe we'll keep them. Just keep a few whiting. That one bit on stinky balls. All right, guys, I just realized that I'm recording, you know, when you're out here surf fishing, you have a ton of fun. And uh, I realized that I haven't really talked to the camera at all, but we've been using the stinky balls peeler crab. And it's been, uh, it's been a, um, the uh, eat of the week, apparently. Let's take a quick picture of that. Oh, that's a big old bonnet head. Holy crap. Yeah, guys, look at that. Father-in-law caught a bonnet head. We might have to start moving rods back here soon. Supposedly, this is a good sign of a spot right here. When there's the washout of water going back out, 
Oh, hello. I think I've got a start. Alright guys, fish number like five or something like that. Oh, he's sliding me. Yeah, you could. I heard they're really good uh, drum bait. They're just their heads. Alright, we're gonna grab another piece of shrimp since Whiting wanted to bite. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You saw that, right? That got bit. Guys, I don't know if I got a fish on this one or not. No, I don't, okay, cool. I got one. I'm on. We're moving. <laughs> That's a shark. The pompano aren't really here yet. Hello. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh no, I got it. Yeah. season look at that pumping no he's bloody
All right, guys, I just want to show you what I use as a lighting rig. So I don't know how windy it is, but we've got just a simple green, I think it might be glow in the dark bead. I got this from like an Amazon Pompano make bay rig making kit. I'm not gonna say like, oh, get yourself, uh, get yourself this brand of rig. Uh, I branded it myself. Uh, yeah, I, I, there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, you can. I mean, it makes it easier for people who are going on vacation. I agree that those rigs. There's nothing wrong with those rigs. But personally, guys, if you want to get the most out of your, uh, the most out of your money, off of the rigs, make your own rigs. Seriously, guys, if you live in Florida, make your own rigs. 20 pound trialing big game is what I use. You can use 15. You can use 17. Honestly, I think I might start using 15 just to finesse a little bit more. But to be honest with you, you will get by with trialing big game 20 pounds. This is a single dropper loop. I use something called a T-knot. I'm not going to show it to you guys because that's too complicated for me to show you guys. But that's what I use for my whiting rigs. Now for my pompano rigs, same thing with two droppers instead of one. The reason why is because whiting are more of like a finessing fish. So you have to finesse them a little bit more. But you can catch whiting on pompano rigs. I mean, we've caught them on all the same things today, guys. So I mean, if you're interested, um, I think Hey Skipper is the video I follow. Brandon over there. Brandon and Kristen, they, there's some cool people over there. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna text them right now and tell them I'm catching pompano. But we've caught a, we've caught one pompano, a buttload of whiting today. Um, besides that, that's all we've caught today. So yeah, but yeah, T dropper loop, guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Now it is after the video. This is like two seconds later for me from the intro. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. What I'm using is double dropper loop rig. I use floats from DS Custom Tackle and I use 20 pound trilane big game. I actually make all my rigs all at once because it's way easier in the long run whenever you're actually going out and surf fishing and stuff like that, which makes it easier for me to, to just tie on a rig and go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are looking forward to more surf fishing content, definitely be paying attention and subscribe with the bell notification turned on so you know that the next time I upload, even though it's very sparse recently, but you guys will be seeing another video soon. So I've got, like I said, a kayak video coming up soon where we just did some bass fishing on a kayak and it was a couple days over the trip, but I'm probably gonna compile it all into one video because I actually really like the camera angle I messed around with on the GoPro, but this 360 camera is going to improve my camera angles overall. I really like this 360 camera and I like the editing I can do with it. So if you guys want to see more beach fishing videos, give me some suggestions down in the comments below and let me know what you like about this video. But thank you guys for watching. As always, guys, remember, fish fear me. See you next time.